Hello and welcome to another Religious Studies Project Conference video. Uh, this time we're coming from uh, the Open Universities Conference on, let's see if I can get this up there, Contemporary Religion in Historical Perspectives, Publics and Performances. Um, last time we were at a conference, or rather I was at a conference, we tried to do a video diary. Um, unfortunately it didn't quite go according to plan, mostly because my video taking skills weren't quite so good at the time, but now David has supplied me with a better camera, so hopefully this is going to go a lot more smoother. Um, this time at this conference, uh, we're actually gonna do a slightly different format as well. Uh, we're not doing a video diary. Uh, what we're gonna do instead, if I can quickly pick it up without losing the camera, uh, is I've got a set of questions that I'm going to go and ask the pundits at the conference, so you'll get a montage of responses to some of the most difficult things that I could think to ask people. For these questions, I've uh, taken inspiration from the conference handbook, which begins with the opening line, at a time when the public role of the university is under increasing scrutiny, how can we ensure that research and teaching about religions reaches new publics? Well, that inspired two questions actually. So the first question I'm gonna ask people is, what is the public role of the modern university? I mean, that is such a loaded question these days. Um, perhaps the role of the university is to bring prosperity to regions. The role of the university has changed so dramatically. Um, I mean, since, you know, the end of the end of the war, but especially in you know the the neoliberal uh, last couple of decades, the university has moved from somewhere that the state supported in order to, gen to generate knowledge um, to something that's more along uh, an in a knowledge industry. There's a lot of talk about impact, but that involves not artificially um, bolting on impact, it's actually thinking about how can we help, how can we inform, how can we co-learn and share knowledge with a variety of publics and that's our public role is to be willing to do just that. That also means we have to have the freedom to try some ideas out, to have some blue sky thinking because you can't always understand what's going to come out of research, but communicating what does come out of research is part of what we should do to whomever it might be relevant, I think. So we're now, you know, we have 50% of the population, 50% of, of students coming out of school going into some sort of um, higher or further education, and a larger proportion of those are going to universities rather than colleges and uh, you know, um, they used to be polytechnics, of course they don't exist anymore. The uh, modern university uh, needs to uh, provide a safe space for the critical examination of a whole range of disciplines. Uh, in doing, and, uh, that, so that means natural sciences, hard sciences, social sciences, arts, humanities, um, so that society can understand itself and develop and grow uh, in both technological and economic terms, but also culturally, uh, and in, given that I'm a scholar of uh, uh, theology and religion, uh, in religion too. So uh, social, cultural, uh, technological, economic development, um, but with uh, a critical edge. Um, at the same time, public discourse has is, is, is become a lot more anti-intellectual, uh, and that uh, anti-elitist as well and that is not necessarily an entirely bad thing uh, in fact I you know I, I think it's a good thing ultimately but it does challenge the role of people who expect to be taken as the authoritative voice of knowledge um, so we really need to think about what the university is for is the university to create profit for the country 
or is the university to create citizens? What we have, we tend to be seeing, and this is a massive generalisation and, and, and probably speaks to certain, certain populations more than others and, and certainly some, certain countries more than others, but we're seeing um, a situation where people know, um, you know small amounts about lots of things and, and, and not, they assume uh, that they, they know everything about and it. And they assume, yeah, they assume that they know, lots, lot, they know, they know things in depth um, and, and the answers that they want from, from, from experts, the difficulty is is that the answers that they want are not just simple but also partisan which is really interesting you know tell, tell us what is right tell us what is moral tell us what you know the, the, the right way to do things um, which we and, and that gap is, is increasing I think to a, to, to so a great extent. So I think extent. we're talking about a sort of general contribution to education on how to discuss stuff aren't we you know yeah, yeah, in, yeah. in its broadest yeah. sense yeah. the yeah. universities have a part to play that. Yes yes you'd hope. Perhaps the role of the university uh, is as of centres of excellence and innovation. I have a bit of a soapbox about content, modern discourse, uh, so general social discourse, news media, social media, all of those things, aiming for the simplest possible explanation or description of something, of things that are actually really, really complex. Um, and I think part of the modern university's role, perhaps, especially for researchers on these kind of contemporary issues, is to try and contribute to that discourse and try and get a little bit of subtlety and a little bit of nuance into it. And get away from the blacks and whites, it is this or it is this, you know, sometimes it's both, sometimes it's more than that, sometimes it's not that at all. Let's engage with complexity because I think it's damaging for society in a lot of areas. To, to pretend that things are simple when they're complex. And I think the university definitely has a role to play in that. What I would like to see is that the university is a place where we train people to create better knowledge and therefore has a potentially revolutionary um, uh, potential, but one that's at odds with certain aspects of the neoliberal state. And how we achieve that, I don't know. I have three answers off the top of my head. Um, one role is to educate people, educate young people, but also mature students, as we do here. And that's really an open-ended project. You, can't, you don't, can't know at the beginning what's going to come out, and you can't see. It's about exploring ideas, um, expanding your horizons, understanding that the, the world and human knowledge is much bigger and more vast than you ever knew, and figuring out where your unique interests and aff affinities lie within that very broad idea. Another important public role of universities is to provide a space for scholarship and um, allow a certain amount of people to pursue interests and in research um, without necessarily um, direct economic advantages or um, a commercial objects in mind. There needs to be some space for this open-ended exploration and quite often it has unintended social and even economic benefits but that's not the primary objective. It has to be exploration and research and the seeking of knowledge for intrinsic um, reasons. And then a third important public role of universities at the moment is as a value for money institution that is coming out of the public purse and this final role is becoming more dominant in public debates and it's a it's a debate that needs to be had because a lot of public money is going into it and what exactly we want universities to do and how much money we want to put in is, is something that should be in the public discussion but I think the first two purposes are the primary ones and should not be lost sight of it's it's a wider social good I'm um, increasingly of the view as new technologies, uh, artificial, artificial intelligence for example, uh, grows uh, in, in its capacity. I'm of the view that universities are, are going to be increasingly places where people learn for leisure and I'm really excited about the prospect of the role of universities in creating a society where the Protestant ethic and the spirit of capitalism uh, has been moved aside so that we can enjoy the pleasures of learning about the world in which we live and embracing our new artificially intelligent persons uh, who will be living in that world alongside us and alongside all the other many organisms we're, we're here with. Brilliant. Thank you.